Welcome to Zilflex and today I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know to make a website. So to get started with the tutorial, I'm going to explain you what is needed to make a website. First of all, to make a website we need to understand the computer language. That computer language is named as HTML. So let's get started with making HTML samples. So first of all to make something we will need an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So I'm going to go and download it but I'm going to introduce you to HTML. Now you will ask what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. A markup language is a set of markup text so whatever we type it is going to be inside the tags. So I'm going to tell you what is the reason I'm going to tell you the version and which year is because in interviews you might get asked by what is HTML and how many versions were there. So I'm going to tell you what are the reasons for that. So in HTML it was the introduction of HTML. So HTML was introduced in 1991, HTML2 was introduced in 1995. HTML3 was introduced in 1997, HTML4 was introduced in 1999, and XHTML was introduced in 2000, and HTML5 was introduced in 2014. HTML5 is currently used as in the modern world, we are always connected to mobile phones and HTML5 has given some tools to make everything digitalized and make the life easier. HTML5, HTML is very powerful and advanced till now. So I'm going to minimize this one and I will tell you we need a text editor for that. And as you were watching Notepad, so this is the text editor for it as given by Windows. So to get Notepad, so go on start and type Notepad and hit enter. This is the text editor we will get but it is not more convenient to write codes. You can write code but I don't think this will be the best idea. So I'm going to go and download IDE as I was saying. So I'm going to go on Google and type Notepad++ and it is asking me 3.32-bit or 64-bit. So just suggestion and go and download it. So I got the option and this is the download website so I'm going to hit download and the, as you can see it is showing current version of notepad plus plus so you can go and download it did but for this tutorial I'm going to go and suggest you to download text editor that is sublime text just go and download so you will get this website just go and hit download and it will be downloaded so in the download section I have downloaded notepad plus plus and sublime text editor just go forward to download it and see what is better for you and start working on it notepad plus plus is very simple and basic one and sublime text it gives the black background and I pretty much like how it works so I'm going to after downloading it I'm going to tell you how to install it so I'm going to click on it and it is going to ask that so I'm going to hit yes then I'm going to go and sit next and it's asking me where should I install it you can hit next and download it at in C drive but I'm going to download it in go on and install it in so I'm going to go back and I have created a folder for that I have one drive for software so what I'm going to do is softwares and I have made a folder for sublime text editor I'm going to hit next I'm going to hit next next and install so as you can see it is saying that it is successfully installed in a computer but I I think I'm going to use it pretty much so what I'm going to do is go and start inside my PC wherever I have installed it so I'm going to 
go and go to notepad but I'm not using notepad I'm using sublime text editor so I'm going to go on and here you have it sublime text editor so I'm going to go and click on the icon and I'm going to right click and send it to create desktop so because of that it is going to go and get it over here so I'm going to move it and keep it in front because I want this one because I'm going to use it pretty much every time whenever I'm using sub HTML so I'm going to click on it and this is how sublime text editor is going to look like and whatever we type it's very slow and very slow so what I'm going to do on preference font and I'm going to make it larger so as you see that one was big one and I'm going to font larger and I'm going to go and start typing my HTML so I think that's very nice so I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching my name is Nazir and I'm signing out